So guys, this is an iPhone SE 2 uh, 2020 and this process is very complicated but stay with me, we are going through step by step, okay? So the passcode is a must to have, so you put down 4 digit passcode and we move on. So after everything set up, you go to your computer, okay, and you use R Store to install the R Store file to your phone. Put down your Apple ID And now it's here in the app drawer So after you got the app store, you need to go to enable developer mode which is under setting scroll down privacy and scroll down developer mode and turn it on your phone will be restarted After restarting, you need to go to setting and to verify the R store. Let's go to setting, general, scroll down to VPN, and you see Jaipur ID, trust that. Okay. The next step, we need to transfer the file. We need a nugget, nugget 1.01, and we need that. and.
and we also need the size store size store file airdrop it too and every file link in description And this is the last file that we need, chapter box pair. We need that file to pairing your phone with the nugget. And double click it. You need to trust on your phone. You trust it. And you do it again. Close the file. And do it again. We will have the file, one file that the, at the end, the mobile, like I highlight search it in your window and you find it and air airdrop it too so we need three files to make it work so after that, we go to our store and put on the call ID. After that, we need to install Nugget as we, we airdrop it. And we need to download where WireGuard from App Store. So now you have these two apps, but you don't need to open Nugget, you need to open WireGuard first and click plus, create and choose the file size store that we airdrop it. And don't forget to turn it on. Turn it on, go to Nugget, you need to verify it first. Open Nugget, go to Customize, that one, the eligibility, and turn this both on, okay? And this one, if you want to turn on, read it, and I like Bootchim, Child Limit, and another one is the about Touch to Wake on iPhone SE. Okay, this is SE. And this is select the pairing file that we do on the Mac, airdrop it, this one, and apply to it. Done.
after everything done you can see the option Apple Intelligent on iPhone SE so go to it and join the weekly turn it on choose the voice and join the waitlist as your phone is iPhone 15 Pro Max or something like that after you join you don't need to restart you don't need to do anything just leave your phone connected to Wi-Fi and if you want to check it work it download the Apple intelligent or not you can go to setting iPhone storage and the iOS file as you can see in video Now finally it shows Apple Intelligent is downloaded. So keep it connected to the Wi-Fi, don't do anything, just leave it there until it downloaded the size of file around 2.58 gigabyte. So now it's done. It's done complete downloaded. So as you can see Apple Intelligent is glowing around the edge of iPhone SE beautifully. So enjoy, this is how we enable Apple Intelligent on iPhone SE, this is beautiful, so good.